What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here and today I am bringing you a tutorial on how to install Minecraft Bucket on your VPS. Now I am using a Linux VPS that is running Ubuntu 32 bit with a gigabyte of RAM because one gigabyte of RAM should just about do it. Um, I haven't tested with 512 megabytes which is probably the lowest with VPSs. I'm using a gigabyte and it just runs fine. I've had no downtime, no crashing, nothing and I've tested it for at least 48 hours straight with zero downtime. So if you're interested in doing this, it's quite simple. All you need is a virtual private server. I will leave some links in the description below to some cheap VPSs such as the one I'm using and maybe some other companies that I can find on the internet. Unless you already have a virtual private server and you're looking to just install Minecraft Bucket, then I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that. So first things first, we're gonna need a few things. So go ahead in the description below and download WinSCP. This is a FTP slash SSH client that will allow you to use terminal and transfer files like FileZilla or any other FTP client and it's very very nice. I do recommend using this over FileZilla even though I love FileZilla but this just has an all-in-one solution for PuTTY which is a command line that we'll be using in this video and some other unique features that come really handy when using a virtual private server. So go ahead and click on installation package and this should install all of it including PuTTY. I'm not entirely sure if it does include PuTTY but if it doesn't then go ahead here and click download putty and save that somewhere on your computer so next we're going to open winscp once you've installed it it's a very simple installation you're going to want to type in your host name which is your ip address the username and password for your virtual private server and use a port 22 once you've done that we're going to go ahead and click login and as you can see we are logged in and you can see my bucket server like so for this tutorial obviously we're going to be creating a new one so i'm going to go ahead and go back and i'm also running my teamspeak server on this vps as well so uh, that's why you see the TeamSpeak folder there. So if you go back, you might see this, which is basically the root of the VPS. Now I like going into the home directory and then just putting stuff in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to be making the bucket server and we're going to be placing it in this directory here. You can choose a different directory. I just choose home. This is a personal preference, but it's entirely up to you. So once you have this open, if you go to commands and then press putty or you can press control P, that's a shortcut as well. This will open a command prompt window. At least it looks like command prompt and it's basically all terminal commands from here it's probably going to ask you for your username for the first time so just type that in and also your password it may also ask you to reset your root password so if you've just purchased a vps then go ahead and reset that password once you've logged in you'll see root at teamspeak that's just my name of my virtual private server but obviously this is personal preference and yours may be different so the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we have java installed so if you just type in java and hit enter if you get that that means you have java installed but if you don't all you want to do is type in apt apt middle score get space install space default dash jdk hit enter and that will install the latest jdk or java version java runtime once we have java installed we're going to go ahead and go into the home directory so what we want to do is cd forward slash home and then hit enter and you can see that we're in the home directory like so and once we're in that directory we're going to make another directory folder and we're just going to call it bucket server for this tutorial so mkdir and then the name of the folder or directory that you want to call it so i'm just going to call it bucket server so the next thing we're going to want to do is go into that folder so we're going to go cd forward slash home forward slash bucket server next go ahead and go in the description below and this will link you to the get and basically we want craft bucket there is spygot or speedgot however you pronounce that i have no idea but we're doing a bucket server for this tutorial and in this point in time it is version 1.8.8 now keep checking here to see if there is an updated version and you can easily download that so we're going to go ahead and right click this button and click copy link address because we don't want to download this jar file go back into your command prompt window and we're gonna do wget space and if you right click that will paste the link address and then we're gonna go ahead and press enter. So as you can see, 100% installed, 16.2 megabytes. So once we have that, we're gonna go ahead and run the server. So to do this, we're gonna do java-xmx. So I have a one gigabyte of RAM server, so I'm gonna do 756 megabytes and then I'm gonna do dash xms which is the smallest size of uh, ram so i'm going to do 512 megabytes and dash jar and then if you just type in craft and then press tab it will auto fill in the actual name of it so if you don't know the name 
fully by looking at it. If you just type in the start of the word and press tab, it will auto fill in that word. So it's very handy to use tab in putty. Hit enter. So as you can see here, we've just tried starting the server and it says a generating a new properties file, you need to agree to the EU LA, which is basically the terms of agreement. So when you start a server, you have to change it from false to true. So what we're going to do is go ahead in here, refresh, and you'll see the new directory. Go ahead in here and this is where all the server files are going to be held. Right click eula.txt and click edit and then change it from false to true. Make sure you hit the save button as well. So as you can see down here, the progress is completed. So once we've done that, we're just gonna hit up on our keyboard and that will just bring up the last thing we typed and hit enter again and that will open the server once again. Okay guys, so now you can see that it says done, which means the server is fully open but we want to press control C, which will actually stop the server. And to know that it's stopped, you'll see this here. So that's how you know that the server is not running the Minecraft server. Next, we wanna do LS, which shows the list of things in that directory. And we're going to do screen dash S, and then we're just gonna type in bucket. Now we're just going to open the server again. So we're gonna type in Java dash XMX 756 dash XMS 512 dash jar and then if we just type in cra and then press tab it will finish the rest of that off and hit enter that will then go ahead and open the server once again and as you can see it's completely done now i forgot to mention that you guys may not be able to use the screen command so if you go ahead and do apt get install screen that will just install the latest version there and then you can go ahead and do what i just did so once you can see it says done, we're gonna go ahead and open Minecraft, go to multiplayer and click add server and obviously type in the IP address of your VPS. As you can see here, I've got a nice little bow icon that I've just added for testing and we have zero out of 20. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it. And there we have it guys. We have now successfully installed a bucket server onto your VPS. So just to clarify and make sure everything's working, if we go ahead and go into the console window and just do say hey all, you can see server hey all in the background. If we also go into WinSCP and right click and refresh, you'll see all of the files here. We've got world end, never world plugins. So if you wanna install some bucket plugins, you can go ahead and simply drop the plugins in this directory like so, let them transfer and then restart the server in the VPS. You can also go ahead and change the server properties by right clicking and editing this and you know, turn things off such as OP permission, monsters and however you like. So this is obviously personal preference. So you're probably wondering, well, is this always going to be running? Yes and no if you don't press control a and d then it will basically just crash the server and will prevent it from starting so in the putty press control a and then d and that will basically take you back here once you're on that screen you can see we've detached there you can go ahead and exit putty and go ahead and exit win scp as well and as you can see we are still in the server go ahead and disconnect fresh the list and see there's zero out of 20 and we're getting 10 ping to the server because the vps is held in london which is right next to me and it will always be up unless you stop the server so that is pretty much the basics of setting up a bucket server on your virtual private server come on rate subscribe and all that good stuff i hope i've helped you in a way and i'll see you guys in the next one peace